Welcome back. We're going to get some headlines. We're going to talk some football with Travis Ruiz this morning. He is yeah. the football expert <laughs> after all. You and Lee Baker, right, Trav? Yeah, it's not the first either. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. And like I said, I am the football expert, especially <laughs> about the Dallas Cowboys. Let me tell you all about it. The Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> known as America's team, have a rich history, a history of winning and losing. Uh, the Cowboys entered 2012 as a talented team with high expectations and a taste of disappointment after last season. The pressure, as usual, is thick because of the Cowboys. They've mastered the art of underachievement. A few people these days uh, say that this is their year and say, instead they say that this is supposed to be their year. We all know we, we love them, right? Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't the year before supposed to be the year too? Yeah. And yeah. the year before that? And the year before that? Yeah. The year before yeah. That? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then back in 1996 when they actually won the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So there's also been a lot of talk about the players needing to step it up, leaders needing to emerge, potential needing to be realized. It goes on and on and on. And this morning, we're chatting with you right here on our Facebook to see what you are saying. As you can see, Lee Baker did a wonderful article. We can zoom in on his beautiful face right uh, there. Don't go too far, though. We yeah. love Mr. Lee Baker. Yeah. He <laughs> looks so much younger in that picture. I know, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the comments Photoshop. you're saying. <laughs> Eric says, the team needs to step up and help Romo out. I think their D, I think that means defense. You got it. <laughs> I think That's their great. D <laughs> will be much better this year with training camp and getting to know Rob Ryan. Okay. Michelle says, until they fire Jones, who I looked up as the owner, they will never be successful. <laughs> Mismanagement needs seems to name the game for them. Yeah, yeah. Jerry Jones. That's yeah. Jerry, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, he's rich. He yeah. is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you I would repeat at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike says, I am a diehard Cowboys fan. Win or lose, I believe in them every year. Some are better than others, but no one wins every time. That's they true. have a good chance at the Super Bowl. Romo needs to step it up or bow out, as do the other players. It's called teamwork. Mm -hmm. Michelle or Dolores says, I love the Dallas Cowboys and can't wait for them to start playing Dallas Cowboys all the way. Yeah. I agree. See, I'm going to love the Dallas Cowboys no matter what. If mm -hmm. they win or if they lose, mm -hmm. born in Plainview, mm -hmm. Texas, I mean, you got to love your Dallas America's Cowboys. team. That's They're right. America's team for That's a right. reason, right? I agree. Unless you're Kendall Lee Bates and you like the Eagles. She's an outcast in our newsroom. Yeah. Uh, as far as football goes, they yeah. are just, what, six hours away? Yeah. Denver's pretty close, too. They are, too. Yeah. Steve Meyer swears that since, you know, the Thunder has done so well mm -hmm. in basketball that Oklahoma City will get a football league soon. We'll see. Football team. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? But, yeah, so football, who knew I could talk about it? Who knew I <laughs> knew anything about Dallas? Now, how long, how much research did it take for you to, uh, to put this little piece well, yeah. together? Yeah, I woke up this morning a little bit extra early just to look up some stats on Dallas Cowboys. And as yeah. I was saying earlier, Meredith and Steve, their win-loss record is almost exactly tied as far as their history goes back. So, really, this year could set the tone as far as are they a winning team or a losing mm -hmm. team. But uh, America's team nonetheless. And we are still taking your comments. As you can see, we have several comments right here, um, up to 45 right now. Wow. Um, we'll read some of them on the air every single day. So we're excited about that. Uh, always so much happening on Facebook. All right, Travis, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate that. And don't forget, you can follow our Pony7 Facebook page. He's up and on it all morning long. So if you have something you want to say, voice your opinion, we might. Give you a shout out on the show. Absolutely. Again, it's an interactive way to be a part of what's going on. Of course, our up and Adam reporter, Adam Snyder, out there with you as well. He's at Men's Warehouse today. Yeah. All right. Let's